Welcome back. In this third video, I'm going to show you how to actually go ahead and design your show, starting with the template that we created in the last video. Again, um, if you haven't yet subscribed, we would really, really appreciate it. We're trying to get over a thousand subscribers so we can start monetizing our YouTube channel. Okay. Here we go. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to open that template that you created. And I recommend saving as your first thing um, so that you don't mess up your, um, your template file. And in fact, I have two lighting design templates. I have like a backup one just in case I, I do start designing and saving it. Um, I, I always have another one. So we're going to save this one as I'm going to call it. This song is called Where Your Heart Is. So I'm going to call it W-Y-H-I lighting um, and I'm going to put the tempo which is 146 BPM okay and we'll put it there next we're going to grab the actual mp3 and drag it into your audio track up here that we created okay now in this case um, the audio doesn't start exactly on one it starts it's got a um, uh, a lead-in track so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna move the start point so that let me get a little finer so that we start on one we record everything to the click now you can see it's nice and perfect there I'm gonna unwarp it because I don't I don't we already recorded to a click but I'm gonna make sure that the tempo is, is set correctly and that's that the next thing I like to do is I like to start creating locators so that I have a map as I'm designing. This is the intro. Um, I know um, just because I did this in advance that uh, at five is where verse one comes in. Um, so you can see I'm just right clicking up here um, at 21 is where chorus one and it snaps to the grid for you so this would be chorus one so I would go ahead and do this throughout the entire song um, no need to do it now but um, this will be really helpful because it adds these lines and in terms of navigating to those spots and starting from them when you're when you're designing it's really helpful okay so let's say for example that on all these lights um, I want everything um, to start off let's say like blue and then when we get to uh, verse one we'll have um, the two spotlights which are these two lowest ones come up to full white let's just say for example all right so what I would do is I would make sure that my master dimmers are all all the way up as they are and I would find the blue lighting channel and let's just sort of start bringing it up. Oh, this is channel one. That's my spotlight, so I'm not going to do that. I'm, channel one and two are my two spotlights, but everything else we're going to bring up to blue. So um, one thing that you can do when you're drawing, which is really helpful, if you hit the letter B on your keyboard, you go into this draw mode, and um, that's nice for just making sure that things um, uh, go exactly according to the grid that you have here. And if you right click, you can change the grid. So let's say quarter notes are, are actually really helpful. Um, so let's just zoom in a little bit. And you can see that it works right there. If you um, click B again and get and turn draw mode off, now you can come in and start doing some other things with your drawing. Um, like if there's a, an edit point that you want to remove, say for example, let's say we wanted like um, a slow fade and you could, for example, get rid of this point and do that. If you hold uh, con uh, option, uh, you can have it, um, you know, curve, for example, those kinds of things. But those are just a few quick tips. Um, I'm going to get rid of these just by clicking on them. Um, let's say we want the, sh the show as soon as the song, uh, the scene loads, we want blue up. So I'm, I'm going to turn my draw mode on and I want it to go the entire length of, of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put draw mode on and let's say I want blue at like, you know, level 60 or so. You can hit command and then um, you have to hit command before you click and then you've got a more exact, it'll do a more fine um, edits. You can like those, those numbers will go slower. So um, that looks good. Let's try that. And we can't see it on the light just yet, but we will in just a moment. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn draw mode off and turn uh, these. Let's see. This is already on 60, so now all I have to do is bring it over here, and now it'll stay on 60. Okay, if we put the playhead here, now you can see that light number uh, three is blue as soon as we start the song. Now let's say I want them all to start at blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag across here, Command-C, oops, I only want it to drag in this lane. Okay, Command-C, and now I'm gonna go to light four, find blue, I'm gonna hit, you can do one of two things. You can either click up on your locator or you can hit stop twice to bring your cursor to the um, to that exact front point. You hit command V. Sometimes it doesn't work. I think it's a bug. If you just move the, um, the zoom, uh, that's, that's how you can get it to work. Now I'll move to light five and we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll go, make sure you hit there. Change the zoom, V. Um, the other thing you can do besides zoom is just change where the um, where the screen is set. Okay, so here we are on six B. See if I just go like that. Boom, done. And seven. Uh, I'm sorry, this is so boring for you. Um, we can just go, boom, and finally the last light, boom. All right, now, if we get to the beginning of the song, you'll see all of my lights except for the two headlights are in blue, and they're all the exact same shade because I've literally copied and pasted between those. Of course, they will go um, immediately to zero once we get to verse one, so that's probably not what I'll wanna do, but let's just show you how that works. Off they go. And again, the, the video has a bit of a delay, but that does happen exactly um, in the room with me right now uh, when the tune does that. So now let's say we want lights one and two. Let's just say we want the white to come up in the last, mm, let's say the last two um, beats before verse one begins, just so that we're at full lighting by the time we sing the tune. So what I typically like to do is Again, I'll hold down command so I've got a more fine control. And it's going to be pretty bright, but so let's just say I wanted it up at 100 just um, for the sake of it. This one I'll just go like this, turn draw mode off. I'll get rid of all of these and get rid of this one. And now let's just do a quick test. There you can see light number one is going to start at zero and boom. Now let's just copy and paste that as well to light number two. Let's go to white. Put the cursor at the same starting point as the section that you highlighted in order to copy. Um, sometimes it'll do some weird things on the back end like that. So you can just get rid of those two edit points. But now if we go to the beginning, we should start in blue. When we hit two beats before verse four, they're gonna come up in white and blue goes out, boom. So if that were the entirety of your show, and obviously that would not be a great show, but if it were, for example, then what you would do to basically finish this and prepare it to bring it into your final uh, master uh, Ableton set file is you'd come up here, um, either double click twice or hit your locator. You're gonna go down to the last automation lane in this file. Make sure that you're getting the entire song. So um, I would zoom out like this. Come over here to like measure 133 or so. It's okay if you don't get it exactly. Um, hold down shift and click there. Then command C. Now go to the corresponding channel here. In this case, remember, light number one was channels one through nine. So I'm gonna to go to light number one I'm gonna hit my locator. I'm gonna hit Command V. Again, it didn't work, for, it's some sort of bug, but if you just kind of move this a little bit, boom, it'll work. And now light number one is copied down here. Now we're gonna to go to light number two, and we're gonna repeat the same process. 
So we go to the first channel in light two. Now it's not this top um, channel that you see in the track. This top one is like your current, whatever your current um, uh, uh, automation lane is that you last controlled. So the actual automation lanes that you want to copy are really like the second one that's labeled right here. Okay, so get into that first one. It's always red in my lights. Make sure you get to the beginning. Um, zoom out. Oops. Make sure you get to the end. Uh, again, around measure 133 or so. Shift, um, click, Command C, and now come to your master lighting and get to the first channel that should be for light number two. In this case, it's 17. Again, double click to make sure you get to the beginning on that stop button or hit your locator. Command V, and now light two is in there. And you would repeat for all of these other lights, essentially, making sure that you're um, pasting in the appropriate channel. Light 3's address is 33, so that would go there. Light 4 starts on, um, there's usually a gap in my numbers because of the way that I do it, which is really helpful. So you can see um, from 41 to 48, so this one would be light number 4. That's where you'd start that one. And that's, uh, that's really how it works. So um, uh, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Hopefully this is helpful to you. And um, once you've got all of these pasted into your master light track, basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy that one, all of those automation lanes just from the master lighting track, and we're going to paste them into the master show file, which I'll show you. But what's great about this is now if you ever need to make any changes to your individual songs, you just come to this file. You'll have to recopy and paste into the master light file and then copy and paste into your master light show. But, um, but I, I find it to be a, a really easy way to make changes um, and, and not ever lose all of the work that you put in, not having to start from scratch each time. So I hope that helps, and we'll come back one last time for the master lighting file. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks.